Imagine waking up tomorrow and finding out that you've been made redundant. You've heard about it in the news, but you never thought it would happen to you. At that moment, you remember next month's bills. I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. There is actually a way to make passive income and it's easier than you might think. This is a three step process and following all three steps, you'll achieve the financial freedom that you're looking for. But before the money can start rolling in, you need to make an API. I highly recommend using the serverless framework as this makes it super easy and you end up with blazing fast endpoints and also don't have to pay a cent whilst your API is idle. I've just created a brand new API, which does sentiment analysis. Users can just send up a product review, support email, or social media post, and they get back the sentiment analysis score. This can be used for loads of situations. For example, ordering support emails by angry emails first, or even using this as a way to send thank you messages to the people who have liked your product. If you want to learn how to make this exact API for yourself, I have a link below to a five day email course teaching you how to build this exact API. Now that we have our API, we can unlock our secret tool. This platform allows you to sell access to your APIs to a massive pool of over 4 million existing users. It removes all of the headache of managing payments, monitoring usage, and most importantly, finding the customers. You might have guessed what tool I'm talking about, and you or your company may already be a customer. Of course, I'm talking about Rapid API. So to get set up, you need to create an account and add your API. There are a few ways that you can upload your API into Rapid API, but you decide to go with the simplest, which is just manually defining all of the endpoints. With your API added and your endpoints configured, you can move on to pricing. This is a complex topic and something that really depends on the kind of API that you're building. You decide to go pretty simple with a free monthly tier for users to try out your API and then two paid tiers for different levels of usage. Once you've saved all of this, your API is live and you're ready to crack out the champagne and celebrate your inevitable success. A week later, you check your API dashboard and see that you only have a few free users and no paying ones. Disappointed and frustrated, you decide to head to your friends for a few games of darts. Whilst playing, one of your other mates asks if he can have a go. It turns out he's never played darts before. His first dart tumbles through the air and completely misses the board. He takes a breath, throws another dart, Okay, on target. A few darts later, he's now consistently hitting the board. That's when you realize that darts is just like your failed side business. You've just thrown your first ever dart, missed the board and given up. What if you tried again? Maybe your next API will get some paying users. You can learn what works and what doesn't. So you decide to try again. And with each API, you get more consistent. Building up a series of APIs, which each generate income, every single month. Just as you are thinking that, your friend hits a triple. Complete luck, but what happens if one of your APIs got lucky and hit a triple? Even if it doesn't, you'll end up with a portfolio of APIs that together could generate thousands of dollars every single month. So this is the third and most important step in this process, and that is to try multiple different types of API and learn what works. If you're excited to get started with this, then check out my email course below where I teach you to use serverless and quickly build the API in this video so that it can scale automatically with users. In this video, I compare seven real world projects that can help you level up your serverless development whilst adding projects to your portfolio.